Submerged is over. Unearthed is here. And before we talk about Unearthed, let me just ask you a question. What are you doing for your first Lego Liggers in this off season? Because I might have a great solution for your kids just to keep their mind sharp. Check it out. This is thinkhub.today, creating innovative thinkers. It says it right there, creative innovative thinkers. This is the web store. This is not thinkhub.com. This is thinkhub.today, where we take the spike prime concept, which you, uh, if you don't have a spike prime, you can buy one separately here. We take the spike prime concept and we put it into a Lego Explorers curriculum where students can explore building a racer, a polygon drawing robot, a polybot, a color sorter, a swing. We also offer computer coding with storytelling, game creation, music making, uh, and more. 3D modeling that starts to talk about how to make models in Tinkercad and 3D worlds and talks about 3D printing. Not only that, we have the ThinkHub form where after you create and you innovate and you change a polybot, you can go share your creations in the Lego Hub. Or the racer, you can share your creations in the Lego Hub. If you make an awesome scratch project within the computer coding unit, you can put it in the Scratch Hub and the Tinkercad 3D Modeling Hub. There's gonna be a first Lego Lake Hub as well. Now, Unearth looks really, really cool. And I love that it's aged, first age, and, and, and it makes me think of Indiana Jones, which is like my childhood, and the whip, and the hat, and the archeology, span and uncovering mystery, and, and it's really, really neat. I think there's a lot of cool innovation projects that could be done inside of this theme. I also think that there is a lot of cool solutions on the board. Let's check it out. When we dive into the board, it looks cool. I like it. There's lots of open space that we can drive a robot around here, through here. Uh, it's got a nice indicator of the center. It's got nice open space here. It reminds me, the placement of the mission models reminds me of Submerged, but different mission models. I really, really like it. I love the, the color, the matte. It looks very cool. You know, I like the mining cart. It looks like we're going to have to lift this up or push it or pick it up or some something, interact with that somehow. Uh, Looks like we have to move a lever and stuff's going to fly out of here. If you watch the game animation, pull some stuff around, which is really neat. It looks like we have to push this or lift this or somehow to get the uh, lid off of something here that looks pretty neat. We've got something else that we need to lift. This guy, when there's another picture of him and he's standing up, it looks like we need to make the fossil stand up. Uh, I, I like, see it's standing up right there. I like these mission models. They look really, really cool. Uh, I cannot wait to get a robot on to this field and to start experimenting with solutions to interact with these mission models. It looks really, really neat. Now, with all that said, I hope that you have a great Unearth season. I hope that you check out thinkhub.com today for some cool at home or extracurricular or whatever types of activities uh, for you as a student. If you are a student watching this or you as a mentor for your students, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.